to talk about? No, I no like you're live. Okay. Oh, hi, everyone. <laughs> it's like Saturday Night hey. Live, like the bloopers. <laughs> Steve with uh, Pam here at Tutton Table, everybody. How are we doing, Pam? Great, another Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, we are going to launch our used tent, table, and chair sale this week. Yeah. Um, end of our rental season coming to a close over here. So um, a great benefit for you guys for us to liquidate our rental inventory to you at awesome savings. Um, we wanna be your rental industry experts. So we can talk about um, some cleaning tips and some rental tips anytime. Colleen is moderating. create a networking thread too yeah. so a lot of the information that we're sharing we're asking you guys to share some tips or your favorite items or any uh, tricks of the trade that you might have and get in on here and we're gonna create a nice group of networking so everybody can bring some good ideas to the table and what a great place to start because we have been in the business for 35 years and some of you know this some of you don't um, but we do we know a couple things we, yes, we've seen yes. a couple things so, yes yeah. and just because we've been in business 35 years doesn't mean that I've been here for 35 years I'm much too young for that much See? much too much young, too young. Way too young. Um, but I have about 20 years experience in the rental industry and my sales buddy Colleen has over 11 years so we love to talk about the nuts and bolts of building your rental business and helping you maintain your inventory um, leading up to more successful I mean, seasons by my math that's almost a hundred years yeah like 20 something. <laughs> easily. So easily easily like a easily. century yeah. worth of information yeah, yeah. easily and then yeah. let's add mark and brett to it and god knows they've got decades like a thousand of years of experience. Like a thousand. <laughs> so many yeah. years you guys have ron and lewis on oh hey ron hey, hey lewis. lewis how we doing guys? you have right, a bunch awesome. of people on but they comment it so. oh great. good good and that's what we're looking for so to keep up with our giveaways we're going to do another drawing um, last week we put together the survival kit, um, which was super awesome. This is one of our moose bags, um, contents valuing over $130. So who doesn't like a grab bag or a goodie bag? Um, we've got a, um, some patch kits. We've got a moose patch kit. We've got a, a moose six foot roll of patch tape, uh, glue, silicone roller, a stitch all. Uh -huh. Stitch all? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, D ring strap, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and of course, my favorite thing a tent and table sweatshirt. Ooh. And a sweatshirt for form, yeah. Yes, nice. yes. So, um, what we did is everybody who made a purchase last week through Sunday uh, night, we put into this awesome bucket. And Steve is going to shake it up. And do you want me to draw a winner? I, I think you're the lucky one. Okay, so I'll draw a winner. This is our survival kit, $130 value. Christina Matlock. Congratulations, oh, congratulations, Christina. Congratulations. That's awesome. Christina Matlock is our winner. You're going to get this awesome survival kit. All this is super goodies. cool to keep like right in the back of the truck, yep. front seat of the truck, yep. um, right in the office as the guys are walking out the door. It's got everything that you need. You can add some cleaning supplies to this, add a couple of rags to it. Yep. I love these. We these keep these in all of our rental trucks. So mm -hmm. Larger Just, sizes can carry like tent fittings and yes. ratchet straps and things like that. Steaks. Really nice steaks. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So definitely take a look at these add online. Some Moose Absolutely. bags to yeah, your order. Definitely. Call your sales rep, add some moose bags. Um, so, Christina, we'll have your sales rep get in touch with you, or one of our Dynamite customer service staff members will give you a call and we'll get this shipped out to you. So, like us, um, like the video today, share the video to your personal page, let us know that you've shared it. We're looking for you to engage in the uh, stream a little bit too. So, if you have questions, again, we want you commenting and sharing some of your tips for maintaining our rental inventory. Um, Steve is going to show us some cleaning tips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as we're launching this used sale, everything that we're selling used may require a light cleaning. Yep. Um, we're pulling it right out of our rental inventory. It will take us, you know, probably 10 to 14 days plus to pull it from the rental location. We'll get it on a pallet. We'll get it shipped to you. And it might need a light cleaning. Yep. We're just finishing up the rental season. And guys, if we missed your question, we will be monitoring this even after the stream is over. So please don't think we forgot about you. We're gonna try and catch you. Yes, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Or you know, send us a direct message if mm -hmm. for some reason it gets lost in the thread or something. But Colleen yeah. does a good job of moderating, and we yeah. can all jump on and answer questions as needed. Um, so getting into like some of the used talk a tent tops. Bit about that yeah, a bit? sure. Okay. So as you guys know, we are, like we just talked about, a rental company. So of course we have tons of rental equipment, rental tents uh, here. 
And uh, today, this is a 10 by 20 frame 10 top that we just pulled out of the rental inventory. It's been in our rental inventory, I have a feeling, for less than a couple months. And this is the kind of thing that we do, right? Because we have so many rental customers, we have so many uh, people that buy our tents, so it's, it's nice for us to be able to keep this stuff in rotation. As you can see, this tent top is in really great condition. A majority of the tent tops that you're gonna get from us are in this kind of condition. They haven't been repaired. There's no rips in them. All the uh, grommets and everything are in, in place. Um, so typically, you're, you're, you're right in this neighborhood. And, and we, we try to be uh, upfront and honest with you when we have something that might need a light repairing, but most of our stuff, you're gonna need a light cleaning and it'll be ready to put right into your rental, uh, right into your rental company. So, um, and what do you do to keep your tents clean? Well, there's a couple things that we use um, to keep our decks clean, or keep our, our tents clean. One of them is a deck cleaner. Um, <laughs> dual purpose. Yeah, dual purpose, guys. Um, it's intense. Uh, so, all, all day. Um, all day. No pun intended. Uh, you know, this is a deck cleaner. You can pick this up at, at your local hardware store. Um, again, a uh, heavy duty degreaser. Again, Zep makes this one, very popular brand at most of your major hardware retailers. Um, and it's, you're gonna wanna dilute it down. You don't use this stuff full strength. Uh, on, a, on a 10 by 10, or 10 by 20, 20 by 20, you're typically gonna put about a cup of this down and about a cup of this down and about a half gallon to a gallon of water. Dilute it down, slosh it onto your tent top. Depending on how dirty your tent top is, um, you could probably get away with just a nice light cleaning uh, with a with a with just a nice soft mop. Generally speaking, this is the easiest way to do it, the safest way to clean your tent top. Um, now, if you're out on a, you have a rental job and it's been out on rent for a couple months, and you know it's got maybe a couple leaves on it, you know, or maybe you guys are taking it down, or it's got some grass stains or some dirt, you're going to want to use something that's a little bit more coarser um, to get into that fabric and to get the get those try to get those stains out as best you can. Um, your best. That's never happened to us. Th no, we've never. No, no we've all never of our had anything too stained. No, no, all of our tent tops are this white. This, they, they look great. <laughs> um, so, anyways, you guys in the rental club, you know I'm lying. Um, so, uh, you know, but it is. It's a. It, it, it's one of those things where you're just outside. There's not really too much you can do. The, the, your best friend in this instance is the sun. Um, you know, you don't want to put away your tent tops in, in the morning. You don't want to put them away at night when there's dew and they're, and they're moist. You want to do it right when that sun is right up in the dead center of the air or the sky and it's baking your tent top bone dry. And you put it away like that, that's going to give you the best chance of keeping your tent top mold free. Uh, but if you guys have any other questions or any other, how do you clean your tent tops? Uh, maybe yeah, you can give us, us some know. tips. Yeah. I know some of you bigger companies out there probably have those big six figure uh, tent washers and you know what I mean? Those are nice to have, but for the smaller guys in the backyard, this is probably what your setup looks like. So uh, just keep that in mind and, and please let us know what you're Tell doing. Tell them about the floor scrubbers too, Steve. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually do our floor scrubbers out at another facility right now. I wanted to bring it on. Yeah, I know, I wanted Telling to bring it on. Telling our secrets to, to too. Show. Yeah, but we do have um, a floor scrubber and you would use a white pad on it. It's the softest uh, pad that you can use on a floor scrubber. On the low end, a brand new floor scrubber is about a thousand bucks. On the high end, you're looking at about three grand. Uh, for, a, for a nice floor scrubber, but um, if you're just getting started out, contact us about that because you can use that on these. Um, and if you have the area to set up a few of these at a time, that floor scrubber is going to allow you to just breeze through these tent tops in no time. In the at middle all. of summer, when we're turning over tent tops, we have tarped the entire parking lot, yeah. got them out here. One guy is with the mop, he's sloshing yeah. some liquid on, another one is just floor scrubbing right on by, and then another clean mop going just by and then right letting there. it dry. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we don't have a huge tent washer. Mm -hmm. It's a huge investment, yeah. um, but we've got what we think works really well yeah. for us and then letting them dry. And we're in Buffalo, so we're really challenged with weather. We pick yeah. a nice day, get all these tent tops out there and turn them over, Next get them you cleaned. Know. Yes. It's raining. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. Not yet. Not yet. Yes. But anyways, but that's but that's the nature of the game, right? So, uh, your best bet is 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 just using a nice soft mop, a little bit of deck wash, a little bit of degreaser. And if your tent top looks like this and it's nice and white and clean, you could probably just use a little bit of water and, a, and you know, just a little bit of just, Spot, wipe it yeah, to yeah, avoid just, it having to dry. Just wipe the clean, yeah, and then and then and then just put it away nice and dry. The exciting part is, is that the used tents, for example, I mean, we're at six ninety nine for a twenty by twenty pole tent. It's mm -hmm. a four hundred dollars savings yep. for a gently used, uh, complete tent. Mm -hmm. I mean, twenty by thirties, a thousand forty nine. That's crazy. So you're saving a ton of money. We've even got some frame tents. I mean, a ten by ten West Coast frame tent, four eighty nine. Um, so those are just some awesome deals that we're able to share with you as we end our rental season 
get rid of our rental equipment and make room for new stuff in the, the upcoming season. I wanted to bring a pallet out here to show you guys because we really do have tons and tons of tent tops, right? But our guys are packing up a truck right now and it couldn't really get a forklift available because I wanted to show you guys how many tent tops we have. We have tons of tent tops available. So pallets and pallets, and pallets of tent tops yeah. and we couldn't be inside. The guys are whipping pipes around, yeah. unloading and loading trucks. It's so loud. Plus, it's not looking all that tidy right now. There's no, a lot the of, of the year. you know, it's you Wednesday. Know. So the yeah. guys are unloading from the weekend and reloading for this upcoming weekend. Mm -hmm. Super exciting stuff going back yeah, there. For sure. um, in addition to the used tents, we've got used tables and yeah. chairs by the thousands. Um, and we could talk a little bit about um, bringing these out of used. I mean, yeah. some of these prices are just incredible. You know, $7.99 for a used poly chair. Um, and I'm thinking like a light wipe down. I mean, yeah. these chairs look great. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna, uh, these all have tips on them, right? They're all, you're gonna get tips. Um, you can see this one here. I mean, just a little, just a just little bit of, just a light, light dirt, maybe a tiny bit of scuffing here. But this, this is still has the three inch clip on it. It still has the ribs that we talked about on other videos. Uh, you know, this is still uh, a rentable chair ready to go. It's not brand new, but guys, this is, how much are we selling these for? Seven ninety nine. Yeah, that's crazy. And I mean, you again. These are our eight pound poly chair. Mm -hmm. We're looking at eighteen gauge steel. It's mm -hmm. lead free. It's acid washed. It's primed, mm -hmm. powder coated. Yep. We've got the warning label on the bottom. Steve touch base on the mm -hmm. ribs. Yep. Um, we're at a three inch clip with three rivets versus the competitor a one inch clip with yep. one rivet. Um, again, virgin plastic. Yep. We're not using any recycled plastic like the competitors, and we know what that means. Recycled plastic will make room to do cracks, and we're yeah. using a virgin plastic. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a superior it's a superior product that we're making these products out of. So drain like, holes uh, important. Yep. You don't want to build up any water in the seats, so yeah. we put the drain holes in. Um, and at the price, I mean, we're retail ten ninety nine, so seven ninety nine on a huge chair is just a dynamite price. Yeah. Especially this time of year. I mean, show season. Uh, we'll be at IAPA. We'll be at ARA. So it's really unlike anybody to offer these great prices this time of year. So we want to, you know, get and it gently used. Guys. Gently I mean, it's very used. gently yeah. used. Most of these chairs were put into our rental inventory, I believe, in May. So yes. uh, I, I and we've got thousands. A couple, a couple two, three thousand of them. Yeah, something about like twenty two hundred yeah. of the black. Yeah. Um, we've got white. We've got the white mm -hmm. resins mm -hmm. with the padded seat. I mean, these look dynamite. This, this is a used chair, guys. Right? Look how nice that is. Right? Does it need a little bit of a light cleaning? Okay, sure, fine, sure. Look. Okay, but guys, this is a brand new chair. Let's talk about for the, the price. Part. Yeah. I mean, sixteen ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, that's so unheard such of. a great deal. It's um, five to six dollars off a retail price. We've yeah. got um, some white resin with the plastic. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, with the padded seat. And I don't know. We'll have to take an inventory to see if we've got any like black or mahogany. But the white ones yep. at sixteen ninety nine. Yeah. Um, those I think we've are got a few sold. black. We'll take a look. I, if you guys are interested in black or mahogany uh, resin chairs, give uh, us a call. Yeah, yeah, reach out to us. And let us know. I'll, I'll take a look and see what we have. How much was the twenty by twenty ten again, Pam? Six ninety nine. Retails at a thousand ninety nine. Six ninety nine, and that's complete. That's your tent top, your poles, your stakes, your ropes. Thank you. Let's talk about the cocktail table. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we've got a ton of them. We sell a ton of these, and it's nice because you know, guys. And we talked about this before with our uh, with our tables. It's still it's a used table, but it's still three quarter inch Russian birchwood. It's still crimped aluminum edging. Beautiful hardwood underneath. Look at look at how nice the socket is here. This isn't going anywhere. It needs a light cleaning, just like. A lot of used equipment does, but it has some light scratches on it. And well, Pam, tell us more two, about this. Two coats of um, two coats of UV poly on the yeah. top, mm -hmm. one coat on the bottom, so you can see how well it's taking. I mean, we've got about 200 of these in our rental fleet. It's the first thing that I encourage people when you are booking a party and you've got somebody taking a 20 by 20 tent, six eight foot tables to do a party mm -hmm. for about 48 throw some cocktail tables on there with them also it's an easy upsell and it turns every party a little bit funner i mean who doesn't like to have a cocktail yeah. a snack you know you're not sitting down you yeah. want to be a little bit more casual and make your way around i love this and that's what i tell people like if you have a 20 by 20 tent right you're going to put 40 people under it right not all not everybody's going to be under that tent at once Just people are going to be wandering around i love cocktails and i think they make like a good, good yeah, conversation that's exactly piece. right yes yeah, yeah, yes that's exactly yes. right so it's a nice option to have. And again, it's still commercial grade. I think this table, again, these tables look great. 
right? Yeah. These are used tables that were put into our rental inventory. Maybe the end of last year, the beginning of this year, they've seen a few rentals. Uh, but these are, guys, if you anybody has our tables out there, please feel free to comment on there and let people know how great they are. I mean, these, these tables, I, I don't take any complaints. A hundred percent birch wood. You'll notice yeah. our tables are a little heavier. Fifty two mm -hmm. pounds on a six foot, sixty two on an eight foot. This is heavier than some of the competitors, yeah. but it's because we're using a solid birch wood, yeah. uh, plywood, a solid piece versus some of the competitors use a luan. Luan is taking on some fillers, some resins mm -hmm. and other fillers. You're pressing it together. Yeah, pressing and, it together, yeah. and you're not going to get something as heavy duty. Right. Um, again, not a plastic or rubber type edging. We're using the aluminum mm -hmm. crimped on, like Steve had explained. And which is nice, you know, um, uh, I've had some people tell me that, you know, they're guys, especially with 72 inch round tables, they like to roll them across, the, you know, you've seen it, you yeah. roll them across the pavement and it gets all nicked up right here. You just take a little emery board, right? File that right down or, or uh, you know, a, a nice, a nice metal file, file that right down and, it'll, and that, that'll come right back. That's a nice thing about aluminum with uh, rubber edging. Uh, that's just coming off, it's peeling, it's breaking. Not to mention they've already compromised the integrity of the wood. When they have to slice into that, into the side of that table to pound that rubber in there, that's already compromising the integrity Splinting. of that wood. Yeah. So with this, you can see it's nice and protected, it's completely covered, and uh, these tables, they really hold up well. Same thing with the tops. I mean, these are this is a wooden top. This isn't a garbage uh, press board top. You could take sandpaper to these, right? And you could sand it down, get take out all the scratches, refinish them, and you got a brand new table once again. And honestly, that would be such long term. I mean, this yeah. uh, table has been in for a full season. This table looks dynamite. Of course, like Steve was explaining, there's probably a few scratches and nicks on here, but these are in excellent condition. Yeah. $79.99 if you purchase them new. $24 off. Um, $55.99. I think we've got that's a couple a, of hundred of these. Price, yeah, yeah $55.99 for the 30 inch. You're going to get both leg sizes, so you can use it tall 42 inches or short to sit at at 30 inches yeah. um, just creating an awesome deal and a lot of people are covering these anyways right if you're yeah. going to like a, a, a wedding or something like that somebody's putting a tablecloth or something on these to yeah you know a linen nice, yes yeah, yes yeah. so we wanted to um, just explain some of our survival tips uh -huh. and we want to make sure that you are um, involved on in the post you can like um, the video share the video um, ask us any questions, share any of your cleaning tips. Um, anybody that makes a purchase this week through Sunday, we're going to do another chair cover because oh, people love those so Sorry. much. Yeah. yeah, And that's that um, vinyl chair cover mm -hmm. with the zipper goes right on your table, I'm sorry, your chair cart, mm -hmm. um, covers 50 of the um, poly chairs or 25 of the resin chairs. Yeah. So we'll do a random drawing for a person who makes a purchase. Call a sales rep, um, give myself or Steve or Colleen a call. Mm -hmm. um, we want to see, you know, if you wanted to add some loose bags. Yes, um, yes. Some chair tips. Yes. Again, we'll do some random, random prizes for the chair tips. Um, so we'll pick some random win yep. winners. I think Colleen will do that and we'll give away some 25 packs of chair tips so that you yep. have those going into your season. Everybody should have a couple hundred chair yep. tips 